Hi all. Um, I wanted to do a piece uh, at the front of the video this time um, to give you a bit of perspective of what I've been doing. Uh, some of you th know, I think I've been doing this for 18 months to do with Amica. Um, Amica was to create a base reference, uh, low power consumption, new Amiga. No, not, not Amiga, don't, don't get upset, I'm, I'm not saying this is a new Amiga. Okay but to give an Amiga uh, experience operating system for people on cheap hardware that everyone can afford. Um, and we're there now. Um, but this story goes back a lot further. Um, anyone who remembers me, most don't, why would you? Anyone who remembers me though, uh, my involvement with Checkmate Digital, where we tried to create a uh, an ex uh, a turn 500 into a serious computer with the Checkmate 1500. Okay, some of you know the history of Com Commodore, they bought their own 1500. <laughs> Stupidity, but there you go. Um, and also the next stage was the Siamese system. The Siamese system was where you could get an Amiga display onto PC hardware. It also meant that um, we could use all the hardware on the PC to speed up the Amigas, RTG, sound, everything right, would speed up. The ultimate aim was to turn the Amiga into, dare I say, an x86 computer. And we got very, very close. Um, this is in the late 90s. Um, some of you may remember the PCI project. There's a little bit of home truth. Stupidly, I had a deal with Gateway, okay? And uh, there's something I'm quite ashamed about, but we, we had a deal, and it was all signed up, loads of money. But they were taking ages to move along. And I did take the, about 32 deposits from people, about 50 quid each. A couple was a hundred pounds, something like that. Do I realise that it wasn't going to happen? Uh, I don't want to go into the history of the reasons why, but basically, Gateway pulled out, which is fair enough. I'm disappointed by that. So I pulled out the market because you know my company went bust. I lost my house. Everything went belly up, and but I felt really bad because I'd taken this. It was about two and a half, three grand I'd taken from people, and I, I did feel bad about this. So t ten years later, fifteen years later, I come back. Lo and behold, Amos on X eighty six piqued my interest. But you could see it was had tons of promise. So I decided to get involved. Now people probably know I've spent quite a bit of money on it, but what I've done is, and I never got that two and a half thousand, three thousand. Make that clear, because that went to accountants. Right, so it's just a bloody nightmare. And I have on my site, look at my site, there's a, a link there that says if you did buy one and you've got one of the vouchers that we gave out, I will give you a refund. And I've been giving some back, and I've only found about five people, so there's still about 20, 25 people that are still outstanding. So I still had this guilt, but I thought, you know what, I could maybe make amends. I'll fund the development of an atom based system, okay? That has taken 18 months. It's now complete. I'm proud of it. I'm totally proud of it. We've got network, so you can take an Atom system, Now that can be either the Intel mini boards. Uh, as long as they've got the Intel graphics chips and the HD, uh, I forget what it's called now, it's the H7 or whatever, um, chipset for audio, and the network drivers can support. And also netbooks, the Acer netbook. So now you've got basically a complete Amiga OS, okay, for x86. I know, I know some people aren't happy with AWOS, some people like it, some people don't, and I understand that, and I, and I, I truly do. Um, but it's just an option, okay? But it's a, a, an economical option. So, uh, that's why one of the reasons I did this. And I, I, I love Amigas. I mean, <laughs> you know, you've probably seen my, I've got 1,000, 3,000, 4,000, 1,200. I've got all this kit, right? So I absolutely love them. But this is my project, and it's complete. So, thanks go to... Okay, um... I just did a, I put this in the, in the middle just before I do the thanks to the people you're going to hear, but I, I just recorded a bit that said thanks to a whole bunch of AWOS people, and it's dawned on me. I, you know, I'd done it, I named half a dozen, and then as I finished it, I'm forgetting people. So I'm, I'm just going to leave this message, okay, because there's so many people, and I don't want anyone to feel it because there's so many people. <laughs> you know, the, the saying, walk on the shoulders of giants? So that's all I've done. But there was a lot of people involved in here, and, and I've just named the people now that have actually done the drivers for the Omega project. I, I, I think what I will do is I'm going to put a little message up on my website about this because I, I, I just know if I mention, like I did just now, and I put this up, people. It's just, I think it's better that way. 
So um, there's a ton of people. I will thank them, and I'm going to think about it and write the list down. Um, um, but yeah, now to the big because I'm yeah. You know, sorry about this. Continue with it. Nick Andrews. Okay, he did the original uh, Network Driver. Um, Davey Wensler, Audio Driver. <laughs> Fantastic. So we've got someone now yeah, doing AHI for. Uh, he's been an absolute godsend. Wonderful man. Um, Ian Gledhill. Cat Weasel. Now, for most people, the Cat Weasel is not a big deal, but it, it is because it means we can plug in the Cat Weasel. If you've got the right machine, you can. Everyone can have these drivers. Now, the final thing for me was always going to be the. I knew everything hinged on the graphics driver. I, I knew it was going to hinge on that, and how good the graphics driver was going to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. This graphics driver, right, is awesome. Totally awesome. Uh, the only way I can show, show my enthusiasm with this thing, right? I'm going to show you it, right? I hope I haven't chatted too long, right? I, I wanted to do this to camera so people could see me. I'm, I mean this, and I'm passionate about it. All you hear is my funny voice in the background. This time you can see me, right? And a little bit of a confession making, okay? Don't hold it against me. Hopefully, you won't. And I, most people who come to me have been very good, enough. but it was my way of getting, getting out of the system, putting something back, okay? Some of you know we've got a silent Amiga now, uh, Amiga, right? And that's that's how they go. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's with Michael because I sent it to tweak. He didn't need to, and it's there, and I haven't got it here. But the driver works on the, most of the Intel, all of the Intel assembles, actually, to be fair. Uh, and it works on this Acer Spire 150. There's a bit of a tweaking got developers, but the reality is you've now got a complete system. So I'm, I'm going I'm to shut up, right? And then I'm going to show you this. Now this is my Acer Spire 150. Okay, it cost me 130 pounds. Okay, on my uh, 400 pound 1080p TV. Okay, it's 32 inch TV, but you can work on any TV. Just to show you that the drivers. Can I swear? It's not BBC. This driver is the bollocks. Seriously, 370 megabytes a second. Okay, um, you don't realise that only an atom. What you're going to see in a second, right, is this new graphics driver, and an atom processor. A single core atom processor. Bear that in mind. So, without further adieu and all that, and uh, once I skip up there, please um, come to the show. Definitely going to be in Bletchley, and I'm going to be showing you can see this, right? You got I mean, I think people trust me now, right? More than likely going to be in Essen in Germany. I got to, I got to pay certain people for some of the work they've done, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be going, but money's a bit tight. So, um, Enjoy it. <laughs> See ya.